Scrapbooking.com magazine is proud to bring you the following die cuts article from our January 2013 issue. Where's the Baby? by author and artist Tina McDonald for Spellbinders. Who hasn't played peekaboo with their child? In this adorable scrapbook page, Tina captures her son's attempt to hide. Trim red pattern paper to 11 and a half inches square and adhere to black cardstock. Trim blue chevron paper to 10 inches square and adhere to black cardstock, then adhere to the page. Trim blue pattern paper to 8 and a quarter inches square and adhere to black cardstock. Spritz with glimmer mist and allow to dry. Adhere to page as shown. Using black cardstock, Cut emboss three scallop labels one number four using grand caliber machine. Using pattern paper, cut emboss three labels one number three, then adhere each pattern die cut to the center of the black scallop labels. Cut each in half and adhere as shown. Tear a strip of washi tape to ten and three quarter inches and stick near the bottom of the pattern paper. Cut a strip of red chevron paper to eight and a quarter by two and a quarter inches, matte in black, then adhere above the washi tape strip. Using black cardstock, cut and emboss scallop labels one, number four, and number five, then cut and emboss. Using pattern paper, cut and emboss labels one, number four, C. Stack and adhere label die cuts as shown altering foam squares and adhesive between layers. Sand edges of the photo, then adhere to the label stack. Slightly overlap alpha stickers and adhere them to the black cardstock. Trim close, leaving a small black border. Adhere this to the page using foam squares and remaining title as shown. Using eight and a quarter inch pattern paper, Cut Emboss Classic Edges 1 Rick Rack Edger. Adhere die cut and washi tape as shown. Using pattern papers, cut emboss several nested pennants ribbon banners. Using a crocodile, punch two holes in the top of each pendant. Thread twine through holes and knot each end. Adhere banner to the page using foam squares. A printable project card with instructions and a list of supplies can be found by clicking on the step-by-step -step instructions link within the online version of this article. To find the products featured in this Spellbinders article and shown in this layout, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premium retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article. Don't miss the rest of the great articles and features in this month's issue of Scrapbooking.com magazine.